Demon Slayer. Each upper ranks fate at the end of the series, as the primary villains for most of Demon Slayer. Kimetsu no Yeba. Here's the ultimate fate of each upper rank member of the 12 Kazuki, the ultimate villain of Demon Slayer. Kimetsu no Yeba, Musen Kibitsuji, didn't become personally involved in the battle with the Demon Slayer core until the manga's final arc. Before that, the six upper ranks of the 12 Kazuki served as the primary antagonists for much of the story. The defeat of Enmu, lower rank 1. During the Mugen train arc marked the last time Tenjiro Kamado would fight anyone other than the strongest demons. Upper rank 6, Jutaro and Daki. During Demon Slayer's Entertainment District arc, Jutaro and Daki fought against Tenjiro, Tenjin Yuzui, Inasaki Hashibira, Zenitsu Agatsuma, and Nizuko Kamado. Although Iguro Obanai referred to them as the lowly upper six, the battle to defeat them still decimated an entire city and forced Tenjin, the sound Hashira, into early retirement after losing his left hand and left eye. Jutaro was decapitated by Tenjiro with an assist by Tenjin while Daki was beheaded by a joint attack from Zenitsu and Inasaki. Like most demons, their impending demise returned their memories of their lives as humans, and Jutaro and Daki reaffirmed their love for each other as brother and sister and went to hell together. Upper Rank 5 Gyako Gyako was one of the upper rank demons who attacked the titular village in Demon Slayer's Swordsmith Village arc. Facing off against the Mist Hashira, Muichiro Takedo, Gyako was the only upper rank in the series who won Vona Hashira and lost. Gyako was an artist whose pride in his grotesque creations using corpses of those he'd killed ultimately led to his own demise. As a fellow artist, Gyako became distracted by Hagen's Yuka's dedication to sword polishing and opted to hold off on finishing off a wounded Muichiro. Takedo then manifested his mark and effortlessly decapitated Gyako with mist breathing, seventh form obscuring clouds. Unlike other demons, Gyako didn't have time to lament his actions or regain his human memories, as Muichiro split Gyako's decapitated head in half to get him to stop talking. Upper Rank 4, Hantingu. Hantingu attacked the swordsmith village alongside Gyako and battled against Tenjiro, Nezuko, Genya Shinizugawa, and Mitsuri Kenroji. Hantingu was unique in that being decapitated only made him stronger. He split into seven different bodies over the course of the battle, while Tenjiro and the others struggled to find the real body whose beheading would kill him. Although Hantingu was defeated by Tenjiro, his forcing Izuko into the sunlight only for her to survive exposure was the only time in Demon Slayer that Musen enthusiastically praised one of his demons. Like Gyako, Hantingu didn't have much time to reflect upon his human memories as most dying demons do his corpse was caught in the sunlight immediately after his beheading. Upper Rank 3, Akaza. After his debut in the Mugen Train arc, Akaza didn't see action again until Demon Slayer's Infinity Castle arc. Squaring off against Tenjiro and Jiyu Tomioka, Akaza proved himself to be genuinely unbeatable. His compass needle ability allowed him to predict his opponent's moves, and even when Tenjiro neutralized the compass needle and decapitated him, Akaza's headless body continued fighting while his head regenerated. The exhausted Tenjiro and Jiyu would have died at Akaza's hands if being decapitated hadn't triggered Akaza's memories of his human life. As a young martial artist named Hakuji, he lost his fiancé and teacher when a rival dojo poisoned their well. He became a demon when Kibitsuji came to investigate the demon-level carnage that Hakuji had inflicted on the rival dojo. When Akaza remembered his late fiancé, he became remorseful over the monster he'd become and obliterated his own freshly regenerated head, allowing himself to die. Upper Rank 2, Dama. During the Infinity Castle arc, Dama was first confronted by the insect Hashira, Shinobu Kacho, whom he quickly consumed after her poisons failed to kill him. Kanao Tsuyuri and Inasauke then teamed up to fight, but were no match for him until the 37 kilograms of wisteria poison he'd inadvertently ingested by consuming Shinobu began to melt his body. Dama was described by Kanao accurately as completely empty inside. Even as he was dying, Dama acknowledged that he didn't feel anger at losing or even fear of dying but rather he felt the same thing he'd always felt even as a human nothing. After being decapitated by Kanao and Inasauke, Dama experienced his first emotion in his entire life when he met Shinobu in the afterlife and, despite her hatred for him, began to develop a crush on her. Upper Rank 1. 
Kokushibo. Kokushibo was the final upper rank to die during Demon Slayer's Infinity Castle arc. Muichiro, Genya, Seimi Shinazugawa, and Jiaume Himijima fought together against Kokushibo, though Muichiro and Genya were no match for him and were killed. Seimi and Jiaume decapitated Kokushibo, but he successfully regenerated his head just as Akaza had. However, the wound from Muichiro's burning red blade caused his body to disintegrate anyway. As his body withered away, Kokushibo reflected on his human life as Michikatsu Tsujikuni, the twin brother of Yoriichi. Michikatsu always felt inferior to his brother because only Yoriichi could wield the all-powerful sun-breathing technique. He chose to become a demon so he could live forever and improve his sword skills. Though as he died, he admitted he just wanted to be as strong as Yoriichi.